Welcome to the Digital Connectivity Series on ASI. ASI stands for Actuator Sensor Interface, and it's a widely used network for connecting simple devices in the field. So why would we want to do that? Sometimes simple devices, it's not worth taking ethernet or other protocols directly to the field or hard wiring to boxes, etc. So it's a very simple and easy way to consolidate all of the devices in the field. And it's done with this simple yellow cable, which is the backbone of ASI, and it includes both power and data in two wires. And it uses this festoon system where you can plug on devices wherever you like. And of course, you can also unplug them and remove them. So it makes it very simple and flexible for uh, changes uh, at a later date. So as you can see in our demonstration here, we run the simple cable to the field and from there we connect whatever devices uh, we wish. So as an example here, uh, we're connected to the Profinet system, so as part of the loop. So what we can actually do is we can simulate uh, these devices running on Profinet. If I come over here, I'm just going to operate that uh, valve directly from the screen over here and operate it back. Also, to give you an example, uh, we have one of our control tops here that's for multi-position valves, maybe in a, um, a mix-proof valve arrangement. So we're seeing it in the bottom position. If I come back over to the screen, you can see it's in the bottom position. As I move it to the open position, you see it change over here, as well as to the mid position where the valve uh, seat lift for CIP cleaning, etc. And you can see that also read back into uh, the main system. So this device, as an example, has three inputs and up to three valves for those positions. So six I.O. all connected via this one cable coming back via these two wires and then integrated back to the system. And a manifold may have even 60 of these valves connected all on this single cable. So that gives you an idea of the value of this network. I mentioned we can run on uh, Profinet. We can run on any of the industrial networks. And as an example over here, we're connected to the Ethernet IP network. And uh, on this one, we're showcasing a modulating control valve running on the, on the system, as well as a rotary valve and even an ASI DIN plug we manufacture for a solenoid valve. I'll also demonstrate here that we can also take manual override and uh, I'm going to operate the rotary valve from the device itself. So in other words, even though the network may be up or down, we can take control and operate these devices. One of the things that uh, I will mention is that we mentioned ASI here and you'll also see ASI 5. ASI 5 is the latest uh, uh, version of ASI bus. It's only just been released in the last uh, 12 months or so. And uh, you'll find that ASI 5 adds a lot more data to the same uh, system. One of the nice things about ASI is it's backward compatible. So all of the devices you see here are all running ASI 3, and yet they're connected to these two ASI 5 masters. ASI 5 will enable us to carry twice the data to the field. So, and yet uses exactly the same cable and the same wiring uh, system. The beauty of it is, is that we're gonna be able to incorporate diagnostic data. So when we talk about digital connectivity, we're not just talking about operating things, we're also talking about getting that asset management and diagnostics back to the system and incorporating into things like IIoT or Industry 4.0 type uh, applications. So ASI 5 will enable that. But being a fairly new protocol, you'll see a lot of vendors releasing ASI 5 compatible uh, uh, devices for the field in a very uh, near future. But as you see, the good thing about it is you can incorporate an ASI 5 system now and be backward compatible with your systems and then add even a mixture of ASI 3 and 5 on the same network. Okay, the products Burkett has uh, right now is, uh, yeah, currently all ASI 3, but we have everything from valve control tops, modulating control tops, valve uh, uh, switch boxes, and on-off valve, and even a solenoid valve. You'll notice most of them are based on individual valves, not valve banks, because that's what ASI is about, decentralized um, uh, installations. So in other words, running to the individual devices in the field with this IP67 uh, network. So that's pretty well uh, it for ASI. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.